Roy. Okay, so PT versus... So PT versus Roy, probably, yeah. Okay. So. I am wondering, like, what percentage of this he's going to play Ivysaur. Because I feel like neutral is going to be really hard as Ivysaur, but you want to play Ivysaur some, so you, like, are ready to use him in advantage state. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so I think Ivy's very good in advantage in this matchup, and, like... Squirtle is probably the play in neutral. Like, you can already see what he's doing right now. Like, he already just kind of won neutral with Squirtle and then switched to Ivy in advantage. And especially the ledge, Ivy's good. Yeah. So, okay, now I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a switch to Charizard very soon. Yeah, I mean, it's at, it's about at that percent, especially for Beast, who is, like, yeah. much more willing to go to Zard. Yeah, there we go. There's the Zard. So. I think it's interesting I, where Beast decides to like swap out because he was like right above Roy right there. Like, oh. I think I think he just has balls of steel. Yeah. Sorry, back air taking the stock like it's a Beast stable. That was point. insanely low. That was like the most low Zard back air I've seen. Why is he allowed to angle it? It's kind of crazy, bro. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I feel like. I feel like this is the most patient I've seen Joel play, like in forever. I don't know. It feels like he's like really disciplined in this matchup. Like he just doesn't want to. I think it's just it's like the amount of respect he has for for Juice as a player. So. I, I mean, you oughta like. I local host. He was what he got second only to like Yoshio. Yeah. So like this is. There was that bear that Ark in, or not the bear the the local host that Ark won over him though. But that was over the Greninja. So yeah, this is no like crusty ass. Juice, I think juice. he played a little bit of Roy, but yeah. yeah it's really juice. interesting to see like the, the evolution of Juice, like the characters he's gone through. You know, like originally a CSS player, like then kind of a Falco, then like kind of Falco Greninja, then like kind of back to Falco. And then I feel like he's dabbled with Roy like a lot in between then, but now it really feels like he's set on the Roy, you know? I never got to see his other characters. I would have loved to. Yeah. He did recently get to play like, it wasn't on a stream or anything, but I did see like last week when Doorstop was here. He did ZSS Ditto Lord Stop, which I was like, that's kind of sick. Yeah, so that's cool to say. Yeah. Ledge for Zard, he's a multi-jump character, which is nice. So it's probably better. Ledge is better than as Ivysaur, I would guess. Uh, I think, yeah, Ivy's like, options for getting off the ledge are, like, very, like, limited or telegraphed, you know? Like, I think, like, like his mix-ups, like, oh, I'm going to drop down and up you through the stage. Like, that's not going to work on, like, a player like, you know, like Juice, you know? Yeah. Oh, okay. And Roy's playing reactionary. He could just like look at Ivysaur dropping off ledge and you're like, okay, I shield. Yeah, absolutely. I don't so Beast's to gonna take the game on there. Um, it felt like he just like kind of threatened a hitbox <laughs> off stage, and then Juice was just a, a little too low to recover. Who's cooking in advance? Still, too. we're still kind of seeing like some growing veins a little bit into the Roy, but Pokemon trainer. oh, he's going oh. in. Ninja. Ninja. I thought he was like trying Greninja. to swear off the Greninja. Yeah, That's from, really interesting. From the, uh, I feel like I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this Greninja is the character I've seen the least success from out of Juice's characters. But I mean, it is Gren, and he is like, he's annoying. I hate him. I lost him today. So, ooh, you're gonna have to like, I don't know. You take it really, really slowly. I do like this pick Gren. against like Beast in general. Like, I don't think it's like as much character counter pick of like playing Greninja for Pokemon Trainer, I think it's I'm playing Greninja for you. <laughs> for Joel. Because, like, I think, like... I don't know. Okay. That is one thing that you gotta watch out for in this matchup. That's, yeah. like, pretty free. I feel like Greninja has to wait for his opening a lot more than Squirtle. Squirtle can kind of force an opening with forward tilt and all these options that are safe on shields yeah. from the ground. Um, while Greninja has to just, like, wait because... He's not gonna get like a massive punish on anything. No, he's, he's kind of like nickel, and, like nickel and diming you, like chipping you away. Which is like, the, is so different from Squirtle. They're two very grounded characters, but they. Just have, yeah, like, but Squirtle like act, has an advantage state yeah. where it doesn't really feel like, like, uh, Greninja does as much. He's got insane mobility stats, but it's yeah. just not that threatening and advantage yeah. sometimes. Also, something we saw a little bit ago that I just think is interesting is like, off of like. I don't think he really. I don't think Greninja has any true follow-ups off of like uh, dash attack. Like, like the dash attack fair that you see Greninja go for most of the time. It's usually a 50-50. It's like, are they gonna air dodge or are they gonna jump? Yeah. It's like they'll either double jump fair to catch the jump, or they'll 
or they'll like delay it slightly and catch the air dodge. Yeah, when it, like, it gets out of that percent range where it's true. But yeah, Joel Pretty was just like, fuck you, I don't care. I'm just going to frame one Pokemon switch <laughs> after your dash attack. Yeah. And okay. he got out of it and he like reversaled him to, I think, a kill. Um, or at least he put him on the ledge where he did a bunch of damage. It was one of the two. So I feel like Swap is better in those situations where you're aerially, you're like you're aerial, besides like close to the ground. Because if you're getting comboed close to the ground, they just land and then continue yeah. to combo after your swap. But there it was fun. Yeah, I feel like with a linear kind of neutral that like uh, Greninja plays, like I think like you want to stay on either Charizard for the heavy punishes, or you want to be able to like kind of match the speed with with Squirtle. Like Ivysaur is basically a sortie, you know? And most sorties, I would say, lose to Greninja. At least, like, a lot of, like, the, you know, like, the the decent ones. Like, a lot of, like, maybe the best sorties probably don't lose. Like, I'm sure Aegis probably does fine. Yeah. But, like, they'll have to, like, play advantage incredibly well. Yeah. But I catching that landing. Right there. Yeah, catching the landing with the up smash. Good to see. Yeah, very even game here, though. Yeah. But I feel like the last time, like, that... that Beast was on Ivy, like, he ate, like, 60, like, 60 percent and then switched off. Like, he didn't really do anything besides get hit. That was really good patience just to wait out the mash yeah. option and then get up to it. Oh, waiting out the swap, too. How do you edge guard here? It's strange. I think he's just taking the ledge trap. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's one thing. I think though. it was, like, it wasn't that he, like, I think he just wasn't in a good position for the edge guard or, like, he didn't come into it early enough, so he just kind of reset into pledge, which is like definitely what you should be doing if you kind of miss out on the opportunity. Yeah. Are we gonna get like the cheesiest shit right now? We might. I'm waiting for like Joel to just hit a rent. Okay, never mind. We're going to game three. Never mind. Yeah, because I think that's commentator why blessing the, right there. That's why you take the ledge trap instead of the edge guard. Yeah. Greninja's or like edge guarding options are kind of whatever besides back air, which is yeah. hard to set up for, while the ledge trapping options are pretty damn good. It felt like we just saw a really solid play all around that game. I think like the, the like the only like times I feel like we saw like panic options come out was when like Beast was in disadvantage and like uh, Juice was like doing a very good job of like just kind of like catching those like panicky options with like dash attack or another Greninja button. Yeah. That pivot grab is insane, by the way. Oh, that that is very dumb. It's 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 funny, because Greninja's regular grab is, like, pretty ass, but then his pivot grab is nuts. Like, it, it, it just, like, it sucks you in. I feel like the only character that kind of breaks, like, Juice's trend of, like, really valuing movement, I think, is, like, his Falco. But, like, it's really interesting to see how, like, I feel like Juice just moves really well in this game, you know? And with a character like Greninja, who has crazy ground speed, your movement has to be on point in order to not get, like, I don't know, like, bullied for... I don't know, like, it, your shield is, like, you have no out of shield as a yeah. You don't so, get like, to sit and shield and be patient and just wait until you like, hit it. Gren has to play every matchup. Like, he, his shield can't get touched. So he's just got to be, like, dashing back and moving really well. Oh, he tried to like drift it with him down, uh, just a little too fast falling on Ivysaur. A little too fast falling. Just a little too. A little too much. <laughs> that was scary. He's like no shield right now, so he's probably gonna try to get aggressive. Is my assumption. I feel like jump call, like getting jump call outs, <laughs> is the easiest way. The double roll. The jump calls are probably the easiest way for Greninja to kill an advantage state. Yeah, for sure. If you're jumping against the character, then it's like, what do you do, you know? And, that killed. Uh, that really killed. That's a that's a beast moment right there. And Greninja now is like out, so her rather PT is outside of the percent to get like confirmed. Well, yeah. No, so getting the stock is. is kind of annoying. Like, like Juice really wants to get the stock probably in the corner here. Up throw maybe? No, I, it, it won't kill. There's no way it kills him with this person anyway. There's like pseudo kill yeah. throws in this game that are like fake as hell. Okay. Like Juice is playing in incredibly patient, but it's just like getting that stock is really hard when 
there, so he played that really well. Yeah. I feel like I, we, it's, there's a lot of potential to see him crawl back into the game, but he has to play like he has to like call out uh, beast options and like it's like specifically his panic options. We'll see. But it feels like Beast is playing pretty patient, so. Juice, Juice is like rolling back to center stage after every miss, like, towards the first one or something, because Squirtle, Squirtle ground ground speed speed is not okay. Is, is Squirtle's ground speed is, like, surprisingly somewhat, like, low. He's just small, so it feels like he's super fast. Yeah. He's evasive, but he's not exactly super quick. Yeah, I feel like you can be where Squirtle wants to be, especially in a matchup like this, where, you're, where you have Greninja as the other character. Yeah, there's the Pokemon switch out of the dash track like we saw before. I now he's on now he's on Charizard, which I think is like maybe not where he wants to be right now. Well, maybe not. I definitely think Greninja is one of those characters that has almost no X factor at all and is so much better when you have a lead. Yeah, I agree. Because camping Greninja is if you're bet if you're a better player than your opponent, I feel like Greninja is like really good at like you know taking that lead, holding it, yeah. and just winning. Like just better player than your opponent, but like. In general, I think, like, yeah, I agree. You're, the character doesn't really have, like, X Factor, which is, is why I think he's, like, fallen off a lot yeah. in a lot of ways. Juice just had to be the better player for, like, 